If you're hoping for haunted homes and spooky castles where a nun died in mysterious circumstances, then you're in the wrong place. This is Strange Mysteries, and we're only interested in genuinely freaky locations where messed up stuff might actually happen to you. Like this bridge, this diseased riddled monkey show, or Alaska. So let's forget about ghosts and ghouls, and instead investigate the gritty reality of the scariest places you never want to visit. Starting at number 5, Alaska. Alaska is scary enough due to the likelihood that at any given moment Sarah Palin could shoot you in the face, strip the skin from your corpse, and mount your head on her bathroom wall while draped in old glory screaming the word free he 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 dum like a brain-damaged hyena. But did you know that each year around 3,000 people disappear in America's last frontier? Alaska's population is 670,000, which equates to a shocking one in every 223 people going missing. To put that into perspective, the city with the highest murder rate in the world, Caracas, only claims the life of one in every 1,200 people. And while some people do turn up alive, Alaska still has the highest percentage of missing American people who never return home. Harsh terrain, cold weather, and bears may explain some of these disappearances. But it's also been noted that the last known sightings of the majority of the missing have taken place within one specific region, the Alaskan Triangle. This area lies between the cities of Barrow, Anchorage, and Juneau, and even the native Indians have noticed something strange about this place. So whatever it is that's going on here, it's been happening for quite some time. At number four, the village of masked monkeys. Think monkeys are cute? Think again. Kampung Monyet is a sewerage riddled slum, which is part of Indonesia's capital, Jakarta. And here, amongst the filth, the locals have trained macaque monkeys to wear dolls' masks and children's clothes. Monkey dressing harkens back hundreds of years, but today it has more to do with bringing in tourists and begging for money. There are about 150 made-up monkeys living in Kampung Monyet, and after the shock of seeing them has worn off, you'll get a second fright when you realize they're riddled with hepatitis and tuberculosis. What's sad is that many of these monkeys were taken from their mothers while still breastfeeding, so they rarely do well in the wild. The Indonesian government has attempted to eradicate this cultural hangnail completely, but their efforts have merely sent it deeper underground. Ask the locals where you can find a fancy monkey show, and you'll have no trouble whatsoever with some of these creepy little monsters escaping to roam the streets and your nightmares still dressed in their horrifying garb. Number 3. Akodisua Fetish Market To us kinky westerners, the word fetish conjures up images of whips, chains, and my uncle's gimp mask. But Togo's Akodisua Fetish Market trades in nothing but death and voodoo. The market is run by voodoo priests called Fetishur, and having communicated with the gods through dreams and broken shells, they discovered that the cure to all your troubles is dead animal parts. Is your love life a mess? Try chewing on this rabbit's face. Can't get the job of your dreams? Push four pounds of powdered leopard ovary up inside yourself. This market is basically a voodoo pharmacy. So if you've got a problem and you've got the cash, you'll find no shortage of fetish priests willing to help. Oh, and yes, there are human remains for sale here. And no, we don't know where they come from. So if you ever take a trip to the Akodisua fetish market, don't haggle too hard. Or you may end up with your ankles purchased by a fat tourist too lazy to do morning squats. 
at two. That doggone bridge. The Scottish village of Milton is a place so unremarkable that its Wikipedia entry is shorter than the opening paragraph for the page Geese in Chinese poetry. Fewer than 500 people live in this isolated place, but there's one thing Milton's Wikipedia page conspicuously fails to mention, that this is where dogs come to die. The local Overtown Bridge has become known as a suicide hotspot for canines with nothing left to live for. And at least 50 poor pooches have thrown themselves off in recent years. Some estimate as many as 600 doggy deaths at this site, and nobody knows why this keeps happening. Animal self-destruction is a rare and misunderstood phenomenon, with the oft-cited example of lemmings throwing themselves from a cliff being a complete misinterpretation of the truth. And while some experts claim these dogs are merely paying a heavy price for their curiosity, this doesn't explain why some dogs have been seen to survive the jump run back to the bridge and leap to their doom again. So what is causing these dogs to kill themselves? And could this phenomenon ever affect humans? And at number one, the Rat Temple. If you're not a fan of rodents, then the Karni Mata Temple in Dishnook, India should not be on your itinerary. Because this place is home to not just a few rats, but several thousand of the furry little fellas. Approximately 25,000 black rats call the Carney Mata their home. And the reason everyone's fine with this is that their presence honors the rat goddess Carney. Legend has it that the rats came to be here after an army of 20,000 men deserted a local battle and fled to Dishnook where the Carney transformed them into rats as punishment for desertion. That sounds a little weird, though. I mean, if you're a rat goddess, why would that be a punishment? Oh, or maybe she's one of these self-hating rats who wish she was born a zebra. Yeah. If you're brave enough to enter the Carney Mata, then you'll want to mind where you step, since the floor is filled with the things, and the penalty for killing a rat is to eat its corpse. Actually, it's not true, but you do have to replace it with one made of solid silver, so it's still something to avoid. Also, if you catch a rat nibbling your packed lunch, don't go throwing it away, because this is apparently an honor, and worshippers have been known to fight over chewed rat scraps on several occasions. So, with 25,000 rats and a bunch of crazy locals, you'd be forgiven for being too scared to visit Carney Mata. But are there any places you should be scared of, but you're not? Where have we underestimated the potential for danger? Where are the world's silent threats? Where are you most likely to die? You can find out more about this in our bonus video, The Places You're Most Likely to Die which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries. This can be accessed by becoming a Patreon and signing up for bonus video access at $2 per month, which also allows you to help us decide what videos to make, find out which topics are in the pipeline, and ask the Strange Mysteries team any questions you might have about our work, our lives, or our checkered sexual past. Patreon has become necessary since amidst the chaos of advertisers ditching YouTube due to a few nasty videos, creators like us are having our arms twisted to make ad-friendly content. But we'd rather make videos about the things that interest you, and our ability to do this relies on you. For $2 a month, we can provide awesome bonus content for each video, and eventually with your support we can go fully ad-free and dedicate our full videos to just the juiciest ideas packed full of the most mind-blowing content we can find. Our Patreon page can be found at this link here, in the upper right, with the exclamation mark circle, description box, or you can visit patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries and sign up there. Then you can find out what you know that just isn't true. If you don't want to donate, then it's cool, we still love you. 
And we'll continue to provide the best content we can under YouTube's restrictions. As you'll see if you watch our recent video which reveals the creepiest things happening to you right now.